科技临界点，向世界介绍中国科技。Since 2023, there was a significant increase in the use of large language models, which led to a high demand for AI chips. This demand propelled NVIDIA, a company known for its gaming graphic processing unit GPUs, to the forefront of the industry. NVIDIA performance skyrocketed, making its CEO Jason Huang the richest person of Chinese descent globally. However, new competitors emerged, ready to challenge NVIDIA's dominance. One of these competitors is Huawei, a Chinese company identified as a major rival by NVIDIA. Hi, I'm Lisa, and this is Threshold in China. Today, we are diving into AI chips, specifically the rise of Chinese players and the changes they bring to the game. Nvidia listed Huawei as a major competitor in its annual report filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission on February 21st. Intel, AMD, Amazon, Microsoft, Alibaba, and Baidu are also on the list. But Huawei was listed as a major competitor. Why is this? Well, there are two reasons for this. Firstly, the global landscape of advanced process chips is changing rapidly, and these chips are what drives AI technology. Nvidia said the market for a product is intensely competitive and is characterized by rapid technological change and evolving industry standards. It also stated in its report that Huawei is a competitor in four of its five main businesses categories, like supplying GPUs, CPUs, and other chips used for AI. The company sees Huawei as a major player in the cloud service industry, has teams dedicated to design hardware and software that include accelerated or AI computing features. These solutions are used internally by Huawei for their own platform and services. Secondly, with U.S. restrictions on advanced chip export to China, Huawei's products became attractive alternatives. Huawei's Ascend 910B was launched last year, and it has emerged as a viable alternative to Nvidia's A100 chips in the Chinese market. The Ascend 910B is believed to succeed Ascend 910, which Huawei released in August 2019. And at the time, Huawei claimed that it was the world's most powerful AI processor. Three months later, in November 2019, Huawei was put on a trade blacklist by the U.S. Commerce Department. According to the chief analyst of Semi Analyst, a San Francisco-based semiconductor research firm, the Huawei 910B can compete with Nvidia's A100 empowering AI algorithms, saying that quote it is a bit above the A100 theoretically. The chip boosts single-card computing power comparable to Nvidia's A100. It's made using advanced 7 nanometer technology and has an impressive 69,000 AI cores. This means that it can perform tasks efficiently while using less power. It also supports various types of data and algorithms, so it can be used in many different situations. Huawei also has its own AI ecosystem, similar to Nvidia's CUDA framework. Although it doesn't have as many registered developers as CUDA, Huawei has its platform Compute Architecture for Neural Networks. This platform connects the Ascend hardware and software, and it also has an AI framework called Mindspool. These tools are essential for unlocking the full power of AI computing. Huawei introduced its new AI chip around the same time as the release of the Mate 60 Pro smartphone last August. Companies like Baidu, Tencent, and Alibaba has been important customers of Nvidia for a long time. However, during the U.S. increasing export controls on China, Chinese companies are starting to reduce their reliance on U.S. technology. For example, Baidu ordered 1,600 Huawei 910B chips last year. Another Chinese AI company, iFly Tech, launched its Facing One computing platform based on Huawei's Ascend chips. With a growing focus on generative AI and tighter U.S. sanctions, Huawei has increased its capacity for producing AI chips. In an interview last year, Jason Huang described Huawei as a really, really good company. 
However, it is not just Huawei that poses a challenge to NVIDIA. Another Chinese company called More Threads, established in 2020, aims to become the NVIDIA of China and has gained significant attention and popularity in a short period. More Thread has a technology called Musa and is similar to NVIDIA's CUDA. This allows developers to easily switch between platforms. It also offers a diverse product line to cater to different needs, demonstrating their commitment to compete. Their NTT S3000 GPU performs close to NVIDIA's A100, and their desktop S80 rivals NVIDIA's RTX 3060. It's clear More Thread is a strong player in the GPU market. All that said, it is not difficult to see that the restrictive policies of the United States have created conditions for Chinese companies to develop AI chips. This puts NVIDIA in a difficult situation. These Chinese market is large and has a clear demand for high-performance AI chips. Analysts estimate that China's AI chip market in total is worth up to $7 billion. And this gave rise to the increased numbers of firms capable of producing them. NVIDIA has developed two new AI chips specifically for the Chinese market and has provided customers with sample products. However, due to the regulatory restrictions, Chinese manufacturers may not be able to buy these chips in large quantities. This move by NVIDIA is seen as an attempt to protect its dominant position in the Chinese market. NVIDIA's concerns go beyond just revenue. They are more worried about China building its own AI ecosystem, which could potentially threaten the status of its global ecosystem. The US sanctions have unintentionally gave a big advantage to NVIDIA's Chinese rivals, which now have access to a huge market and a platform to refine and enhance their products. This has allowed them to catch up in the field and generate significant profit along the way. And this is today's threshold. We hope this series of videos can provide you with insight into the complex dynamics of the US-China tech war. If you have different views or additional perspectives, please leave your comments. We are so interesting to know.